tooling around town on an electric moped. Something an Indian company is hoping to see much more of in the U.S. Mahindra's Gen Z goes on sale this fall in California, Oregon, and Michigan at a price tag of about $3,000. Anna McKeon recently checked one out. I think they're great. I think using scooters would be great. I think it's, you know, probably better for the environment and better for easy transport than total reliance on cars. To tap into the millennial market, the Mumbai-based SUV maker has added features such as a touchscreen dashboard and laptop charging port. It has made a strategic decision to design and build the Gen Z in the United States. Here in the college city of Ann Arbor. What we're doing really is introducing the brand to the American consumer. So uh, where, where it goes after that, you know, time will have to tell. The battery powered scooter can go up to 30 miles per hour and runs for 30 miles on a single charge. But the moped market has struggled here. Analyst Ryan Citron says only about 5,000 electric scooters will be sold in the U.S. this year, compared with 30,000 in Europe and almost 4 million in China. It's, it's going to be challenging with the really low cost of gasoline, the love affair Americans have with cars, and the low consumer awareness that uh, a lot of Americans have for, for this technology. Mahindra hopes to use the moped as a springboard into the American car market. But first, it will have to convince millennials who are driving less and city dwellers, that an electric scooter is the best way to get around. Mike Householder, Associated Press, Ann Arbor, Michigan.